21. So today we are going to move on to something which is uh, very you know, impressive rather than a very interesting play that we have as a fifth unit from your textbook. Okay, so far we have discussed about uh, maybe Romeo and Juliet, then we had a discussion on two year, and then we had a poem to do that is uh, on children, and then we had an uh, essay on environmentalism that is by Vandana Shiva, and today talk something about a title called A Sunny Morning and the authors of these short plays. It's a very short play. Okay, the moment I say play, you know what it is like, you know. So definitely you have a theme, you have a story to follow here and uh, everything is in terms of the composition between the characters. So it's a very short but rather a very interesting play that we are going to discuss today and uh, the authors are Seraphine and Jacqueline Alvarez Quinter. So uh, they are actually called as the Seraphine Brothers. Okay, Seraphine Brothers. And uh, let us today learn something more about the authors and then let us come back to the play that they have written, both brothers have written, that is titled as A Sunny Morning. Okay, so the very clear title that is given to the play is A Sunny Morning. So here you are going to discuss or you are going to witness about a sunny morning and what exactly the things that are related to it, what are the characters, what are the themes or something. So before we come straight away to the title of the play or something, let us know something about the authors. So they are the Seraphim brothers and uh, on page number Forty-eight in your textbook on page number four eight forty-eight, you have been given a brief description about these two brothers, Seraphine and Jacqueline Alvarez Quinter. Okay, the moment you listen to the names, you will definitely understand that probably they are not the English writers or something, isn't it? So let us know more about them, and then let us come back to the title, and then let us see what exactly the pre-reading activity of the text tells us, and then we will straight away start the play. Clear? Okay. Now, page number 48 of your textbook, you have been given about Seraphim, 1871 to 1938, and Joaquin, 1873 to 1944. Alvarez Quintero were Spanish brothers. So you'll come to know here that the play was actually written in Spanish language or in the Spanish language which has been translated. Okay, so this text has been translated to English. The root authors or the original authors of the play are these brothers. You can even remember them as just Seraphim brothers, that is fine. Or if you can remember both the names, it is well and good. Okay, so Seraphim was born in the year 1871 and he lived up to 1938. On the other hand, Jack Wayne, Alvarez, Quinchero or Quinchard, both the names are one and the same. So he was born in the year 1873 and was died in the year 1944. Both of them were the Spanish brothers. They are also called as, or they are also known as the Golden Boys of Madrid Theatre. That is, both these authors, they are the Spanish brothers first of all, at the same time they are called as the golden boys of Madrid, Spain, okay. So they are called as the Madrid, that is the golden boys of the Madrid theatre. They were celebrated playwrights of the early 20th century. Mostly they are playwrights, playwrights and dramatists, people who write the plays, okay. So they more or less, they are collected, you know, Celebrated, celebrated, very famous, so to say. Okay, they were the celebrated playwrights of the early 20th century. Look into their year, year of born, I mean, the time duration when they lived, it was around 1890s, somewhere there to the early part of the 19th century. So, they were considered to be the celebrated playwrights of the time in the country like Spain, and together they wrote about 200 plays which depict the life, manners and speech
feet of the people of Andalusia in southern Spain. As I said, they are from Spain. They have written over 200 plays, mainly depicting the human values. That is, most of their plays depict the life, the manners and the speech of the people in a specific uh, name or a countryside like Andalusia, which is there in southern Spain. Then, their popular comedies, many of which have been translated into other languages, contributed to the revival of the Spanish theatre. What is the name that these boys or these two authors are called as? They are called as the golden boys of the Madrid theatre, isn't it? So that is why most of the plays that they have written have or they depict the human values and some of the plays that they have written are also considered as the greatest comedies at the same time their plays have been translated into several different languages all over the world okay and then these two brothers Seraphim and Jack Wayne both of them have contributed a lot for the Spanish theatre that is they have given a lot of contribution towards the stage or towards the dramas or towards the plays in this country. Then the flowers, the merry heart, 100 years ago, the gallery slave and the apple of his eye are some of their popular plays. Okay, there are some lists of the plays that they have written are given out of them. So there are some four to five names have been given out of which the one that we are going to discuss today is also one amongst them okay so some of the playwright i mean some of the plays that they have written are like the flowers the merry heart 100 years ago and then the gallery slave and the apple of his eyes are some of their popular plays or something okay so having said that you should have in your mind right now that they are brothers they are from a country like spain and they have contributed a lot especially for the spanish Theater. Moreover, they are also called or considered as the golden boys of the Spanish theatre or they are called as the golden boys of the Madrid theatre. So that means that these two brothers have contributed enough for the theatre, uh, what can I say, the theatres that were there in the country in the early part of the 19th century. So, they have written more than 200 plays and most of their plays have the basic theme of the, which depict the life of a common man, they depict the language, they depict the manners in which one should live or something. And at the last part of the description about the authors, it has been very clearly told that some of their plays have been translated into so many different languages at the same time. There are names of some five or six plays that they have written, out of which a sunny morning is also one amongst them which has been translated into so many different languages, out of which you have been given the English translated version for your studies. Am I clear with that? Okay. Now, after knowing about like you know these two brothers, okay, you remember exactly with the same spelling or something because you should be very very careful, you know. If you are not able to at least remember that, either you can just write, you know, remember their surnames so like you know, uh, Seraphim and Jacqueline or Quinter or Alvarez, anything that can be understood here. So, on page number uh, 48, as I told you, uh, there is a brief description about those authors, I mean, the playwrights has been given there, including their photos or something. But what you need to understand here is that they are the people who actually. Uh, shape the theatre, the Spanish theatre or the Madrid theatre. Hence, they were called as the golden boys of the Madrid theatre. Okay, so all the details are there on page number 48. So, have a quick reading at it and remember the important points that you want to make use while writing the answers. So, that is about the brothers, the playwrights of this play. Sunny Morning. Okay, now let me straight away come on to the title A Sunny Morning by Seraphim and Jacqueline Alvarez Quinter. Okay.
okay uh, original text was written in spanish language which has been translated to english and the english translated version is what you're going to study in this unit a sunny morning okay now the pre-reading activity that you will have to think before we could go straight away to the chapter sorry to the to the short play is that how does it feel to meet a friend after a long time okay these are the things that might have also happened with you how do you feel when you are going to meet a friend of yours after a very long gap or after a very long time and he gives one more question related to the theme of the play that is why do some relationships come to an end so these are the two pre-reading questions that have been given in order to understand what can be the title is all about the very first question that is asked here is that how do you feel when you meet or when you are about to meet or when you are going to meet a friend of yours after a very long time so if you ask this question to yourself you will have your own views or the reviews in order to what can be the thing the more important or the more stupendous thing that may come into your mind is about uh, appearance yes maybe about uh, the way a person looks alike isn't it or maybe uh, hiding one's identity or maybe you no know, there are so many questions that will come to you when you when you think about this question that how do you feel that you are going to meet a friend of yours maybe a childhood friend or so after a gap of a very long time or very long number of years or something how do you feel what exactly would be the situation what would be the exactly the context not only that apart from the uh, friend or apart from the friendship or apart from being friends to each other some may also build in terms of the relationships so that is why he asks another question to you in the pre-reading activity that is why do you think that some relationships will have to come to an end okay when i say relationships it could be father mother it could be parent children it could be you know brother or sister it could be this uh, you know relationship between the siblings or it could be the relationship between the man and a woman something like that isn't it so relationships why do you really think that some relationships maybe due to innumerable reasons might come to an end so keep these two things in your mind that you're meeting a friend after a long gap just think that if you were in a relationship maybe because of unknown circumstances or something the relationships might come to an end so what is the reason for that and why do you think that some relationships will come to an end so these are the two questions that you need to have in your mind when you look into the title so having said that two questions about the, the reading activity now look into the title the title of the play is a sunny Okay, so what do you normally think the moment you look into the light of a sunny morning? Bright day, okay, a new beginning, okay. He is specifically saying a sunny morning. So one particular, one specific sunny morning. It might be very hot, we don't know. But when you look into this title with these two questions in your mind, you will definitely you actually come into what would be the theme of the play or something okay now after reading to those two questions at the pre reading activity session excuse me of uh, the play that we are going to start about now just have a look at the picture that is given immediately after those two questions given in your textbook okay yes look into the picture and you will have to think about your what exactly can you find out between those two people who are sitting on a bench okay and then you could also see certain things isn't it so analyze carefully what the picture is trying to tell and please try
directly related to the title of the play a sunny morning so there are trees there is a lady probably she might be very old or something on the other hand there is a man who is sitting next to her or sitting beside her and probably he is holding some lenses and probably he is reading a book or something is you can analyze it. apart from that there you can also see some birds okay and those birds are maybe fed by the lady who is sitting next to the man there and she might be giving something to eat to those birds who are there on the ground so you can notice some trees and there is a bench there are two people who are sitting on it and there are birds on the ground are being fed probably by the lady who is sitting there so can you find out more about it other than this just have a look at the picture and carefully analyze what exactly do you think in this okay now dramatis or sonat nothing but the characters that we are going to uh, read about in this chapter or in this play in this short play are dona laura please be very very space, uh, specific about the spellings of those words okay so the first character in this play is dona laura then you have petra petra is a maid to the lady who is sitting on the bench then you have don gonzalo that is the name of another character and you have junaito okay so there are two people by name dona laura who is assisted or who is accompanied by her maid servant by name petra and on the other hand you have Donna, Do, Don Gonzalo. So there is another character, one of the main characters, Don Gonzalo, and then Don Gonzalo is assisted or accompanied by his servant by name Junaito. So you should be very scared, you know, uh, careful here about the spellings and the pronunciation of those words. Okay. So I have seen a question was asked, like, you know, name the main servant of Don Laura. What is the name of the maid servant of Don Gonzalo? So there are questions that have come in the previous years also. So be very specific about those uh, spellings and you are going to find out or you are going to read about some of these four characters in this very short play called A Sunny Morning. So let me repeat, the first character, one of the important characters is the lady who is sitting on a bench who is actually feeding the the birds, isn't it? She is feeding the birds and her name is nothing but Donna Laura and she has come along with her maid servant by name Petra. She is not to be seen in the picture, don't worry about that. On the other hand, you have another main character, Don Gonzalo and he has also come there with his servant by name Junaicho. Okay, so these are the four characters that you are going to read here about. Okay, so now after knowing about the different characters that we have in this play, now let us understand and read what is the background to this play. What is the background to this play? Okay, now a sunny morning in a retired corner of a park in Madrid. The very first line gives you a hint that where is the setup of this play and where exactly is the story going to happen. That is, it's a very bright sunny morning and uh, in a retired corner, retired a specific place meant for the old people. Okay, retired corner is nothing but people who are old, people who are retired from their jobs or something. You know that, right? Okay, so a retired corner of a park in Madrid. Now, do you remember why Madrid is named here? Why? Because these two authors are called as the golden boys of Madrid theater, isn't it? So the scene is also set up in the same place and what we see here is that it's a park. So there is a park, there are two people who are sitting on a bench and mostly they are very old people. These are the things you need to understand, right? Then autumn. So autumn is one of the seasons that we have in the foreign countries or in the European country. A bench and right, Don Laura, a handsome, white-haired, old lady of about 70. 
refined in appearance, her bright eyes and entire manner giving evidence that despite her age, her mental faculties are unimpaired. Okay, her medical faculties, I'm sorry, her mental, I'm sorry, her mental faculties are unimpaired. So, the description of a lady is being told by the authors or the dramatists or the playwrights. Okay, so what do they say? They say about a lady, it's a very, you know, a bright morning, there was a bench that was kept on the right, Donna Laura, that is the name of the first character, who was considered to be a handsome, white-haired old lady who was about 70 years of age, refined, refined, she's trying to look younger, isn't it? So she is with perfect, uh, what can I say, radiance on her face, that is, refined in appearance, her bright eyes and entire manner, that is, the very appearance of that lady was giving an evidence that despite of her age, that is, she is 70 years old lady, isn't it? Her age, her mental faculties, that is, the appearance, the mental faculties are impaired, that is, they are mutilated or they are something which have been made up with terms of the makeup, that is, she is trying to hide something or she is just trying to hide her real age or something with all the other things that especially women do and uh, when she was sitting on her right corner of a bench trying to prove that she is not old, okay, trying to prove that she is not very old enough or something, enters a lean upon the arm of her maid Petra, that is enters, she actually comes into the stage, okay, leaning upon the arm of her, who's, who's, uh, uh, who's this lady's uh, maid? Petra, isn't it? Okay. So enters, leaning upon the arm of her maid Petra, in her free hand, she carries a parasol which serves also as a cane. That is the first appearance of the lady, that is Donna Laura. Okay, uh, Donna Laura is that she is a bold woman of 70 who tries to hide her age by unfair mental faculties and but still she cannot go out of the real fact that she is a old lady. So there is a bench at the right in the park, okay, and she could be seen with a parasol, parasol, umbrella, okay, the meaning of the word parasol is nothing but umbrella. So she is holding the arm of her maid in order to go to the bench and sit there, okay. So enters leaning upon the arm of her maid Petra, in her free hand she carries a parasol. So one hand is holding the arm of her maid, okay, the other hand she is carrying a parasol, a colourful umbrella which serves also as a cane, walking stick. So the parasol that she was holding was also serving as a walking stick because of her age and when the scene opens, the curtain rises, we are doing a play, right? So when the curtain rises, what we see here is that Donna Laura, with the help of her maid Petra, is seen going to the park, or she has already entered the park, and she is taking the help of her maid to go and sit on one of the benches that was there in the park. So this is the scene, okay? What you need to understand here is that there is a old lady by name Donna Laura and what we see here is that she, though a very old woman, but still she tries to uh, hide or she just tries to act as if she is not too very old or something because of the glow or the radiance on her face, but still she is the lady one who is taking the help of her maid in order to go and sit on one of the benches in the park in Madrid town or something. So this is the scene that I have described and uh, yeah, uh, what I can do here is that I'll just stop here and probably we will start discussing line by line with the conversation form in the next class. If you were here in this class probably you would have read in terms of the characters only but we are helpless. Of course I need to read it for myself and then we will discuss see to it that whatever we discuss will definitely enter in your head or you will understand what the conversation is all about and let us see what exactly a sunny morning is going to do with these characters. Okay, so let me very quickly recapitulate what are the things that I have 
that. Now, in this class, I have come to the unit 5, and the unit 5 is nothing but a very short play, interesting, rather very, very interesting play by name of Sunny Morning, and the authors are Seraphim and Jack Quinn and Chris Quinter. The first thing that you need to note here is that this is a translated play, uh, play from Spanish language. Why? Because we have discussed about these two brothers, the Seraphim brothers, who are called as the golden boys of the Madrid theater. Okay? And they have contributed very much to the theater, and especially to the Spanish theater. Why? Because they have written over 200 plays at the same time. They are the people, one who wrote mainly the plays, maybe a, a tragedy or maybe a comedy, especially depicting the life of a common man with the manners and at the same time with their social life language. So that is why these people, both of them, Seraphim brothers, are considered to be the best playwrights in the history of Spanish literature. So they have written some of the plays, the names have been given in the text, at the same time we also know that their plays have been translated into so many other different languages. So hence they have titled it as a sunny morning. So you try to review or you try to think what can be the theme or what would be the theme because the picture after the reading, those there are two questions given on pre-reading task that is how do you feel when you're going to meet a friend after a long gap or after the long years? Yeah, after the long years. And uh, why do you think that certain relationships come to an end? So these two questions will lead you what exactly is the theme of the play a Sunday morning. Okay. So meeting a friend after a long time and uh, why do you think that certain relationships do come to an end or something? So this was the pre-reading activity of the question. Then we saw the picture. We analyzed it very very carefully about what exactly could be seen in the picture. We have seen there are four characters that appear, namely Donna, Laura, who is assisted by her maid Petra, and then you have another man by name Don Gonzalo, all right, and he is being assisted by his maid by name Ginaito. Okay, so four characters, and then in the background of the play, what we have seen here is that it's about a scene that is going to open up in a park in Madrid, and the appearance of Don that she is a very old lady, aged about 70 years, but still she tries to hide her real age or identity, but still she is seeking the help of her maid Petra and she is trying to come to the park where she comes and sits on a bench. Okay, so these are the things that we have discussed in today's class. So have these things in your mind and from tomorrow onwards from where next class of mine we will start discussing what is this play is all about okay so about the authors title okay and the characters in the play and what do they appear with respect to the pre-reading activity of the question so be very very clear in these things whatever i have discussed and from next class onwards we will discuss this play a sunny morning by sarapin brothers all right so thank you very much let us start discussing this play in the next class of